I'll just roll with it here. Yeah, Battle's Revenge is actually pretty cool. It lets you have a second player, like, control enemies and whatnot. I guess he's explaining it. Let's see. Okay, so... Our switches and... Yeah, that's the right way to act, Banjo. Just ignore the silly spirit. Totally not an evil devil or anything. Seems to be controlling this enemy already. I'm gonna have to get a second player to try this out. So, I'll be back with, I guess, Justin. There's nobody else here. Okay, I've got Justin here to test out Bottle's Revenge with me. And I'm not gonna lie, this is our third time trying this. Both of the first times, it didn't work. We recorded each level, and finally, after it, it, it never saved. I guess the file was too large. Which really makes no sense, because I've saved 40 minutes for my Mario 64 16 star thing. So I don't understand why this one wouldn't work, but it doesn't want to. But whatever, Justin's got the hang of this now. You just hit R to lock onto enemies, and you can use them to chase you around and whatnot. I'm going to go into one level to show the extent of what this can do. Because apparently the game cam studio doesn't want to allow me to show every level unless I cut the segment like 50 times. And we don't want to be bothered with it again. Anyway, these enemies, uh, unfortunately they can't fly wherever they want, but they can still be kind of annoying. And if it does freeze, we're just going to have to try it again until tomorrow, right? Mmm, no, I can't do that, so we're going to have to hope that this one works. Yep, you can control these things, too. Pretty much everything that can attack you, you can control, except for the octopus. And the ghosts. Yeah, the green ghosts in Witchy World. Tried those. They don't really attack, but we figured you might be able to control them, and you can't. But whatever. Hello. Okay, let's see how we can do in here again. These first-person segments are kind of annoying to get around in. It's... Uh, let's see. Can you get on there? Here we go. Because it's very hard for the person controlling to see where they are in order to chase me, unless I purposely am, fo like, facing towards them. So these aren't the best places to try it. But you can control these things. So if I'm going across a ledge, you can purposely try and stop me. Because I don't, it's it's actually kind of surprising how much stuff they let you do with this. Don't think it works with bosses, but we'll find out eventually. So anyway, like I said, I'm not going to try all the other levels. Uh, interesting things to try, though, are... The dynamite box in Glitter Gulch Mine, it, you wouldn't think so, but uh, it is kind of cool because it uh, it can hit from really far away. The puffer fish in Jolly Roger's Lagoon, because those things are really fast and can chase you around. Uh, the dinosaurs, like the small... Really fast ones? Yeah, those, there's like really fast ones. Uh, Minjos. Minjos are the best. Here, they I, are super fast. Here, I can show off one of those, actually. There's one around here. I can show off the Minjo before we have to stop. Here, ch make it come down here by me. Ah. Uh, this one is actually pretty slow. No, it's not. Ah. Uh, is this the evil Minjo? Yeah, the, I have all the good ones. Ah. Uh, Chase me with that thing now. See if you can stop me. Chase me with anything you can. Stop me from getting to the bubble. I'll try. No, I guess you can't now. I have escaped. No! You can't get me up in heaven. Except apparently you can. I saw you chasing me. <laughs> You're not welcome up here. Yes, I am. I am too welcome anywhere that you go. Can you get the bee? Get the bee. Ah, uh, come after me. Wow, that thing's fast. 
I think it's only fast when it wants to be. Must take refuge in the cave. Can you get me with the pop-up, guys? I hope so. Ah! I'm hitting red. No, you're not gonna get me. Sam. No, you're not. Burst. No. Yes. I will fly. No. I will come. I will go by. Ah, flower. I will go by Mumbo. He will save me. No, he will not. I bet he will. I hope not. Mumbo, get rid of this evil devil for me. Why are you sleeping, Mumbo? <laughs> Wake up. I need help. You do? Well, I could use some help here. I hope it's some. Devil bottles, get out of the camera. No! Mumbo, we thought we could trust you! That's not nice. Why would why would you do that to us? Yep, that's the evil Mumbo, alright. I hinted towards it many times. Now I'm gonna have to actually go and fight him, and he does damage you in that cutscene as you saw right there. So anyway we're gonna Joey, please stop it. Joey, the mama's done! Anyway, I'm gonna we're gonna see what happens if you try and take double bottles what? into the boss fight. Josh, pause it. Joe's coming in. No, well, just let him come in. Who cares? Okay. Joe, could Joe watch us? I guess. Joe, come and watch us if you want to. Can you control him? I don't know. Where is he? I guess it doesn't let you. So you're just gonna get in the way and not let me see what it's I'm doing. Evil. Yes. Oh god. Really? I thought there was supposed to be a little bit of text when you went into a boss fight. I think Devil Bottles is usually gonna say like, it looks like this isn't a place for me to be. I saw that in like the original Rare Witch Project. Where's the real one? Um, like video showing off of this. So and I guess, Joey, yeah, I'm okay. explaining stuff. Now would be a good time to explain, uh... Where's the real one? The real Mumbo's in a different skull. There's two in this level. One of them has the real Mumbo and has a fake Jinjo in it. One of them has the fake Mumbo with the real Jinjo in it. And it's completely random which one it's gonna be. So you don't know until you try. And it's a good thing you can't control this guy, because that would be very annoying. Especially if you could control his shots, like PK Thunder. What if you were doing that? That'd be awesome. Would I be able to win? No. Speaking of PK Thunder, though, we finally got Brawl to work. Took three cleaning pads, but we got it done. And you know what happened yesterday? Two this this cannot be bad. It did happen yesterday? Yeah, it's still giving us a little bit of problems, but at least the game works. Stop doing that. Now you can see it. Ah, now come on. See. Kill now him. Kill him. See that ah, cool. dang it. This calls for Wonder Wing. Wonder Wing, go. No Wonder Wing. Yes. Go. Come on. Get him. What's he saying? He said, I calculate my chances of stopping you are now minimal. And then he does this, and pukes all over me. When are we gonna record Ape Escape? Uh, you're not gonna record Ape Escape at all, but I'll be doing that when I'm done with this game, okay. which will be next week. Except I'm not gonna start it next week. And after that will be Bomberman probably? I have no idea, but whatever. Last jiggy of the game! What happens when you fight the wheel? Let's just listen to Childish Banter, why don't we? But anyway, I unlocked the character parade. It's basically what it sounds like. I probably won't ever show that. You can find it somewhere else. Anyway, as I was tried to explain like 35 times, Bottle's Revenge was never supposed to be unlocked, but it's not really clear why, because it seems to work pretty well, except for with bosses. But... Uh, what you want to do is, it seems to be built into Project 64, if you use that, go to where it says Cheats, and it has it in here already. 
I don't know how you'd find the... I guess this is the code for it. That can't be the whole code. There's got to be more to it than that. But whatever, you can try it. Uh, this is probably what Stop and Swap would unlock if it had ever worked. So, let's fall down and die. Why do you want to die? Because it'll be fun. I'm just, like, snowboarding down the side of the mountain, except without a snowboard. Hooray. Now we will be quite a pleasure. Yep, I was thinking of unlocking another level, but I actually can't because I have a little bit of extra footage at the beginning of this that I need to add, so... That's it. Justin, did you like trying this out? Yeah. Joey, maybe I'll let you play with it sometime. So anyway, next time we'll be opening up the next level which is sort of the boss level and heading in there, and I will see you then. Nails.